Hey y'all, today I'm going to be doing a review of Big L Silhouette decoys, primarily the Goose decoys. I've been using them for about four seasons now, and prior to that I mainly used shells, flags, and full bodies. And there are advantages and disadvantages to all the decoy types. Now, the reason I got big into silhouettes was due to the space savings that they uh, allow you to carry more decoys. Uh, their cost effectiveness is good as well. And they land birds. Uh, we've landed or decoyed thousands of birds in the last four years into silhouettes. They like them, uh, they work, uh, they're easy to use. And I just wanted to go over a couple of the types that we have been using. We've been using the X14s primarily. Uh, they're the larger, the greater Canada's. And then uh, just this season we started using the lessers and uh, I'll just show you a size comparison kind of between the lessers and the ducks and the x 14 so that's an x 14 behind the lesser that's just a lesser on its own and an x 14 on its own and then that's a mallard hen behind a lesser so they're roughly the size of a duck decoy um, new, the new prints for 2022 look really good and uh, there'll be a little bit of a video at the end here on how we like to set them up just to maintain effectiveness and yeah he he thinks that something's gonna happen so that's why he's excited uh, we like the quality the paints uh held up really well or the finish i should say they're made out of corrugated plastic so really lightweight and they don't frost up uh, sometimes when the ground is a little hard though uh, you need to use a rubber mallet and if you're gonna be malleting them into the ground the best thing to do is just to push them down a bit so that you're not going to damage the decoy and then tap tamp them in and this will naturally rise up you'll see that over time they'll kind of develop some ridges but that never really affects how the no it doesn't affect how the birds act it's more of a people thing but sometimes they'll get ridges sometimes they don't at uh and again you back the camera up, goes away. Birds don't see it. It's, it's a people thing, so don't don't be worried if that happens to yours. And yeah, overall they hold up really well and are really effective. So that's why we love using them. Super easy to set up. Super lightweight. Cost effective. They've been a great product. Uh, we've gotten them from uh, flight control decoys out of Lethbridge, Alberta. So they service Western Canada for big owls. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but their service has been excellent over the last four years and uh, good quality product and great service. Next, we'll show you how we set them up. Hey, when we're spacing out our silhouette decoys, we try to have them about three to five feet apart and at every angle so that no matter where the birds are viewing the spread from, they can always see something. Uh, it's kind of good to have them uh, more facing where they'll be doing their final approach so they really get that confidence. The other thing is you want to have them spaced out so that on a sunny day the shadows wouldn't be uh, conflicting with each other depending on the angle of the light because that can just create a big blob of nothing uh, that looks bad and might it'll look unnatural to the birds. But generally you just want it so that they're at random angles three to five feet apart and that'll also create the illusion of movement and uh, it'll greatly help your situation out with silhouettes. This is the thing I really love about silhouettes. If you're limited on space and have a crossover, a small truck, smaller SUV and don't have a decoy trailer, this is what 200 decoys looks like. I know they're overfilled a little bit, uh, but getting the bags will help them last a lot longer and makes them a lot easier to carry into the field as well. So they are a recommend.